time to do video. Sun is setting in South Carolina. <laughs> That's my favorite line. But hey, sun is still out there. Airplane is flying and we got a nice discovery. We just discovered a nice discovery. It's a good trading motorhome. It's got about 80,000 miles, only 700 hours on generator. Diesel pusher, two slide out on the other side. So let's talk about it today. Front windshields are in a good shape. They're probably new because they are a probably new or no cracks or any star cracks, very good. Front is pretty nice, got a few little road rock chips. All right, we, we start that way. Well, I, I lost my camera lady, I don't know. <laughs> uh, slide out topper looks good. No foggy window, wow. And these are double pin, no foggy window. That is a plus for 2001 model. This is a 2001. 2001 Discovery 38D. Got Onan diesel in front, 7,500 watts. Dual fill, got a fill up here and we'll check the other side, should have. Look at the tires, brand hammer new. Let me repeat, that is a $3,500 worth of a Toyo tires plus installation. Might as well say $4,000. You can't even find them right now. The motorhome tires are hard to find. So we got a nice Toyo six tires. That's $4,000 upgrade. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, it was a recent trade. Check out the... Luggage compartment here. And look at this, they stay up. Good strut. They're only 10 bucks, but when they stay up, that means they stay up. And they come out with a slide out, so a lot easier to store stuff. Yes, it's not pass through, but hey, it's a give and take, right? Uh, I like that. Uh, slide out topper again looks good. This compartment probably needs to be slid this way. There's a sewer hose. Hey, what do you know as you get that? Wet bay, wash bay. Hey, pump is very easy. User friendly. You can change the pump out, right? Uh, those are 110 hookups, lights. Uh, very simple. Fleetwoods are really nice motorhome. Exterior is pretty decent on this side. On the other side, I think it's got more uh, weather checking. You could probably come out here and put those shine on, or those uh, people use uh, Zep polish wax. You could probably bring it out a little bit, but straight body, two slide out, got a little crack right here in the vinyl. Not in the motorhome, just in the vinyl. Well, that's just overlap right here. I see that. Uh, new tires, Elko aluminum wheels. Man, it's beautiful. All right, what's in here? Should be uh, batteries, yep, newer batteries. Uh, you got inverter, I think inverter is on right now. I see it. Um, so it's got a 2000 watts inverter, four golf cart, six volt batteries, two batteries up on top are the uh, batteries for uh, chassis, and you got a 50 amp power cord. Some of these early model, like 99, 98 Discovery, I only had a 30 amp. We have a 50 amp hookup, that's a good. All right, you see a little boo-boo on here? Get it for free, no big deal. I don't know if the hammer can fix that or not. Should be just a back part of the engine. That's your air filter there. You can store some bricks to put under your leveling jacks or something. By the way, speaking of leveling jacks, you, they're down. All four leveling jacks works. What I did when I parked it up here on concrete, we released the air. There's a little lever there. You go on a lower and it just released the air. The whole coach kneels down and then you put the jacks down. A uh, little, little some little crack here in a back bumper. Uh, 330 horsepower. Let's see. It is a Cat or Cummins. We're gonna find out in a second. It's a yellow. Guess what? That's a cat. It's a C7 cat or 7.2 liter displacement caterpillar diesel. We got a back uh, ladder to get up on top. The back radiator. There we go. Looks pretty good. The honeycomb. That's where you put antifreeze. It's it's in a normal level. Check your engine uh, engine oil there and all that stuff. Should be about a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Those people want to tow more, you can modify them at your home or your professional shop. Hey, got a nice little flagpole here. You will put your football team, NFL, college football, whatever, or NASCAR flag. 
Uh, let's see, what is this? Two-way diverter for your recreation. That's for when you want to uh, winterize it. That's your 10-gallon water heater. It's in a normal flow right now. This is where you will add LP when you run low in LP. It's got an off and on button. That's your electric and uh, gas water heater. I can open up and show it to you. See right here? It, it is winterized, so we'll have to put this back and we'll check it out. When you come to pick it up, we'll make sure everything works. It won't be 2022, but it is a 2001 Discovery. That is your uh, hydraulic leveling power gear um, reservoir and solenoids up there. Just a little extra information. So this side, back is okay, but I think in the front I saw there's some decals that are really tattered up. Uh, once again, no visible big body damage. Looks pretty good, except I showed you the rear bumper. Pretty nice uh, compartment. Those are your chassis components, ECM computers and all that, if you need to know what that is. Once again, back to brand new Toyo tires, all the way around, all six of them. All right, this, uh, so we've got lots of storage. And what I like it, they stay up. Hey, guess what? We have a Dirt Devil. How about that? The Dirt Devil central vacuum system. That's your fresh water tank. So it is open right now, Nicole. What we're going to do, we're going to go in and close it. So when we fill the water up, it's winterized. The coach is winterized. So we just close it. That's your gate to let the water out from a fresh water tank. Okie doke. So all we got to do is put the water in. That's your another potable water gravity fill. You can also fill it up from a wet bay, but from here you can uh, fill it up with the gravity. So there we go. Nice compartments. So right here, this black part is tattered up. Now, oh, you see, I have a guy I could probably paint this, but they're so busy right now, man. We can paint this black part right here, which I'm not promising, but it could be. And uh, it'll cost probably 500 bucks or something. Yeah. Uh, it's the black part there. This, this is the worst part on the decals. You can get a Sharpie and paint it. I don't know. <laughs> so no foggy windows. Uh, nice big awning. It's got an entrance awning. Let's show you that. And then, hey, let's go inside and show you the inside now. We've got this manual awning open. The manual door awning open. I love manual stuff. You know what? Arm power. If your arm goes out, it won't work. Otherwise, it's just so simple. Get it in like this. And those people never had this kind of awning. Let me show you how you put it back. Put it down. You've already got pictures, right? So you loosen this up, put the arms down, put this down all the way, put, loosen this arm, put the arm back. And we take our little awning rod here. And you kind of pull it down and put this lever in a pull-up position. And what I'll do, I'll bring this thing in the middle. It should be in the middle. There you go. Going up. And then I'll put it in my little eyelet and let it go easy. Simple. That's it. Once you get done, there's a snap. I snapped. Tighten this knob up. Snap in the front. Tighten this knob up, you're ready to go. Guess what? A little more work, but they, they work just fine. I love that alcohol aluminum wheels, man. I can see my face in there and comb my hair. This is really nice. Beautiful. And Toyo brand new tires. You want to come in? You can go first. And we're going to crank a generator up too. Got a nice little Philips TV in the front. They have seat covers. Seats are okay. They just got little, little, little wear. Look at here. It's a leather seat. It's got a little slight wear. Okay, that's it. Nothing bad. They have seat covers. Love air horn. We'll go through the cockpit area in a little bit. But this is where all your controllers are. Your tank level display on and off for your auxiliary and main switches, water pump off and on, radio, all that stuff. Hey, then it has a 10 disc changer. Slide out open and in from here. 
we'll keep it out. Let's do this before we crank it up. By the way, this motorhome, let me say that, exhaust manifold is slightly louder. Uh, let's just say uh, one being a quiet or normal, it's about eight, that bad, eight, something like that. 10 be just no exhaust manifold. It's a little loud. That's a low air buzzer and that's normal to have that. Uh, your airs are, because we had, remember right here, let me show them. Can you get up here, suspense and air, it's on lower. So when you uncamp, and you're gonna retract all your, uh, let's see, we're gonna retract all of our jacks. I turn the system on and say retract all. So the coach is going down, jacks are coming up, and you put this on auto. So that silver lever here goes to the uh, auto, so your air can fill back up. It's got telescopic. Oh, what do you know? This you gotta hook up somewhere. That's it's broken. We'll probably take it off or can do some that's your breaker breaker CB radio so it's got telescopic 89,987 miles let's see we'll crank a generator up and we'll just hit oh, on is this way we do have almost three quarter ten three quarter tank of diesel hey that's that's a commodity man the diesel is about four dollars a gallon right now 387 here let's see Generator is running 720 hours. Um, stand by or turn it on. That's a black and white, beautiful backup monitor. Got a nice little cup holder here. Aftermarket, you can adjust as how bigger the cup is. Big gulp, a little cup. Then you got one more cup here too, factory. Uh, speaking of here, we have an exhaust brake, retarders. Got power mirrors, works. Both side works, heated mirror, six speed Allison a transmission. Uh, that's your emergency brake release. Hey, check this out. Somebody put a nice little, so you can put your foot, foot rest. How about that? That's nice. Uh, generator is running, uh, so I love air horn. It should have, that's your front fan, that works. Man, that's really nice, wow nice wood in here it's like a laminate hardwood laminate floor we didn't do this it came like that we usually use lp a uh, luxurious vinyl plank lvp not lp lvp so over here we've got a double bed that would probably jack knives got some seat belts under there it's definitely aftermarket they moved from there to here and that we have a futon here a nice futon bed. We have owner's manuals and a Cummins book. Caterpillar, not Cummins, Caterpillar. 3160, 3126. It's a pre C7. And your Freightliner operator manual. All that stuff is right here. Roughing it smoothly, okay. You know, mm -hmm. ceiling looks in pretty good shape. Uh, maybe a couple of little stains that you usually can take them off with a slight bleach and a little bit of water. But the roof is in great shape. Over here we got a, let's see, surface light. There we go. Nice Corian countertop, three burner gas stove. Just slightly paint discoloration on the stove. Pretty deep drawers. Lots of storage under here. Dual sinks. It is a 38D. It has 95 fresh water gallon capacity. Um, let's see, it's got a 50 gallons of LP gas tank. All that information is 5,000 pound towing capacity. Looks like this, this uh, looks like a Frigidaire. It's a new, uh, new one. Yep, January 2015 was manufactured. All right.
Center part of the coach, we have a pocket door, nice uh, dining table, freestanding chairs, I like that. And uh, sometimes they have a, we'll see if there's a leaf back there, should. Now, wait a minute, this thing got some plug-ins, how about that? On the back of the, and, and that's pretty cool on this futon bed, looks pretty fairly new. Nice linoleum tiling, but it's a light color tiling, really nice. We have a vacuum cleaner right here. That's your dirt devil. Here we have a, I think this side is a freezer. I think the, I saw the door handle is there somewhere. Install it back up. Over here we have a slide out or pocket door. You just lock in place. And when they work good, that's good. You just do it with your foot. Uh, has a washer dryer combo. I like the color of the wood. Let's see. It's beautiful. I don't know what you call that natural. Maple, something like that. Wow, bright light. We could put one of these bulb here. Nice Korean countertop back here. It looks like these are replaced. These are nice. Got a little gold accent to it. And the center part right here, they have some kind of uh, different kind of a LVP or flooring here, but that's fine. And then you got a carpet back in the back. So nice little bathtub. Hey, if you have a doggy or you want to take a nice little bath tub, it's good. It's got a little tub. Some cabinets and here we have a nice sliding door for a private toilet area. Got a fantastic fan up on top. There you go, lights on. Got a window back there. Pretty neat. Like that. Got a magnet. All right, got another pocket door back here. Took my shoes off because we do have a carpet in the bedroom. And this side, it has a mirror in the back. So king, queen size bed. Carpet's in pretty good shape. Got a very small, some stain here. It could be, you know, changed out or not a big deal. Nice little curtains back there. Check this out. I like it, a little homey feel. Let me tell you, this is a queen bed, but it's got about a six inch more space. You could almost get away buying those Olympic queen size bed. It'll be 66 inches wide. If you, those people want a little wider bed, you could, okay? Uh, instead of a mirror, the previous owner changed it, have a nice wooden sliding door. Really nice, I like that. And the matches rest of the, uh, pretty good match. Let's see, these are all your vacuum cleaner stuff. So all the hoses and stuff. Got right here. Got another TV. Samsung TV. And hey, check this out. A little, what, coat hangers or clothes hanger. So the second slide out in the bedroom, it gives a plenty of room. As you can see, I'm walking around. So hey. We're trying to sell this coach as it is, but we'll make sure the water pump works, the generator works, which it does. The, the refrigerator would work, uh, heat, water heater. It'll be camp ready. So, hey, finishing out this video, looks like someone put a nice backsplash. Beautiful backsplash. Uh, we're going to get on the road, test drive, and show you how this thing drives. Uh, so, we went over the cockpit area. Uh, we're about to go over the cockpit area. And... Uh, all, a lot of the lights works. You see they're all LED lights. There are a few of them not working. It may be a bad switch or something. Once again, it's got to be aggressively priced. So come grab it. It's going to be a uh, camp ready. A couple of lights don't work. A uh, few scratches, you get them all for free. Uh, it's, got, it's got, you know, two, three different kind of color of floor, but it's, hey, it's a hardwood floor except the bedroom area. It has a uh, uh, carpet. All right, let's get on the road. We're taking on test drive this 2001 Discovery 38D. 
I can just slightly hint here the, the exhaust manifold leak. Windshields are beautiful, clear, coming up to this roundabout. Brakes feels great. It's got right at 89,000. 987 miles right at 90,000 miles 700 hours on generator nice backup monitor let's see just get it up to speed here and uh, check it out and I'm gonna turn the exhaust brake on so we're gonna figure that out our driver drove it down from the mountains to here and it drove really nice oh man it's got a plenty of power plenty of power 330 cat man it is going I'm surprised even with a slight uh, exhaust manifold leak. Great power. Runs really nice. Well, it also has a new tires and that helps a lot. Stability on the road, smoothness on the road with them six new Toyo tires. Man, yes, I'm doing about 55 miles an hour. Oh. Hey man, it's, it's that just, that's brake? my exhaust brake, right? Yep, oh, you hear it? Yep, it works. I can feel it. You feel it? Yep, yep. Let's see, I'm gonna try cruise out. Yep. Cruise control works. And yeah, I'm doing about 45 miles an hour here in town, man. Cruise is nice to have, especially on those long journeys you want to go cross country or go down South Florida. Hey man, it's nice. How the brakes, how the exhaust? Brakes feels great. Air brakes. Handles really well. 38 feet, so it's a little short motorhome, especially if you were uh, compared with a 40 foot, a 45 foot, it's a little shorter. All right, let's see. Uh, Turn signals works. Let's see, we're gonna try out um, wiper blades works. And they're not dry rotted, in good shape. The purpose of a, a short test drive to just check out some stuff. Like I said, both mirrors work. Um, it's got nice uh, LED um, fog lights on the bottom and it. it makes a huge difference on the road. I mean, I can see really nice. That's the only bad thing about some of these older motorhomes, the headlight gets all dull and then the landscape, but this got an LED on a, on a fog lights. So, welcome to South Carolina. <laughs> well, some roads are not that good, but uh, this motorhome should give you good, you know, nine, eight, nine, 10, 11, I'd say anywhere from eight to 11 miles a gallon, depending on the how fast you drive and what's your driving habit. Also, if you're in the mountains or in a Florida on flat land, it'll give you good gas, uh, good fuel mileage. Steers really well, doesn't pull right or left. Discoveries are really well-known motorhomes or user friendliness. As you saw earlier, talking about where the water pump is, uh, 7,500 watts generator, inverter. He's got all the good goodies, but you know, they're not very expensive. So, no foggy windows, man, I, I can't get over it. Some of the older modems, they have, first thing, the windows all fogged up. So, hey, let me uh, end the video with our phone numbers, 864. 404-0054 or 864-376-5600 or you can also text one more number or call us, text us. We like text 864-569-5636. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell so you'll, you'll, you'll get notified when we put new videos up. And uh, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate watching our videos. Like I said, this 2001 Discovery with two slides. We're going to price it aggressively, so come grab it as soon as you can. Thank you. Have a blessed day. We do take trades, help you to get financed. 
being a 2001, it's over 20 years old. Uh, it gets really hard to get it financed, so you may have to go through your credit union or USAA if you're a member of a military or anybody in your family. Anyways, I just want to throw it out there. Um, thank you again for watching our videos. Have a blessed day.